Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've done one of my quote-unquote shopping videos. So I decided to come back to the dealership where I bought my 2006 Lincoln Town Car. It's right at this Bob Rorman Schomburg Lincoln. Uh, that the magic happened, which unfortunately I did not film it. I, I got my inspiration a few a few months ago uh, since buying this car and been doing it over a year now and you can see here's my Bob Rorman Auto Group and if you're not from the Midwest you probably don't know who Bob Rorman is but he was a pretty popular guy uh, he died uh, I think a few years ago of old age I think it was you know in his 90s but he did a lot of interesting uh, commercials and he had the whole thing about the Bob Roarman because you know Roar he had like a lion as a mascot and this and that so anyway so well, if you're new to the channel what I what I do I have a few dozen uh, videos like this where it's a quote-unquote shopping where I come to a dealership on a Sunday so I don't get hassled and and shoot away and I just pretend like I am shopping for a new car you know what what would appeal to me and in this case well you know Lincoln's are near and dear my heart so I came here on a Sunday to Bob Rohrman you can see there's the Rohrman is roaring now I represent probably you know lower middle class as far as my earning potential so vehicles like this Navigator uh, for $89,710 is a little bit out of my price range um, yeah it's a reserve it's not an L, it's a, it's a standard wheelbase. So I wouldn't be shopping for this. And so let's take a look. So this aviator thing, okay, so we got the navigator, got the aviator. It's interesting how this one is blue, probably. Is that because it's luxury or is it because it's hybrid? See, it's blue here too. Now, no window sticker, okay. Oh, window sticker, it's so dirty. $83,000, wow, see that? 83,000 now it is very dirty uh it's probably fully loaded but come on really 83,000 for this i mean that one is 89 this one is only <laughs> is only a little bit uh cheaper and it's locked unfortunately i mean it's a nice i mean these are nice vehicles i'm not saying that they're bad but holy crap cars are very very expensive these days all right well let's look all right, MKZ. And it looks like all of these are locked, so I guess I'll, I'm, I'm SOL. All right, MKZ, they, they put a VIN etch. I mean, do people still do that? Look at this, look at this. <laughs> I know I, I do these videos every once in a while where I find weird crap that dealers put. Look at this, VIN etched. So I don't know what the window sticker says on here. Okay, so let's let's look on the other side. So the window sticker's on the, on the other side. And keep in mind, these are new cars. Once I make fun of the new cars, then we're gonna look over there for used cars. So it's a forty-one thousand dollar, right? So it's a it's a nine, it's a twenty twenty MKZ all wheel drive, turbocharged. Okay, good. So it is locked. See, all them all of these are locked. All right, so forty-one grand for a new car. All right, that's not too bad, I guess, compared to that thing. So you got forty-one thousand dollars, but that's not enough. That is definitely not enough. So this dealership put gazillion x if you guys can see that it's x z i l o n total package 1495 dollars so what what you might ask includes pre-treated fresh start epa approved for effective against em emergent pathogens including covid19 so look at this they're trying to sell you something that has to do with covid19 now did i as a consumer did i ask for for the dealership to be responsible for my covid19 safety I did not. Treated and protected with X microbe antimicrobial registered APA registered technology. Up to seven years of stain and odor protection. First of all, it's leather. What stain? What are you talking about? It's leather seats. Okay. Warranty protected against rips, tears, burns, food stains, acid, rain. Oh, so they have the interior and exterior protection. So they want an extra $1,844. All right. <laughs> Come on. I've seen a lot of weird crap. I've been doing this for, I mean, I've been doing this way longer than, than my YouTube career, you know. I use that term loosely, suggest. I've never seen this before. You're gonna provide damage against acid rain, 
against of the exterior paint against COVID-19 I mean come on now if I if I'm a consumer and I ask you hey dealership could you please help me protect myself from COVID-19 sure sure we would we would love to uh. <laughs> but they want 1400 bucks so here's a Corsair that's interesting nope so see I got I got company so so there is interesting stuff so yes yeah, so I don't think any of these vehicles would be good for me any of the new stuff I mean the Corsair the Aviator I'm, I'm shocked as far as like what the price points are some of these things so there's the Aviator they're very dirty again so 71,000 okay so obviously this is not so that one was probably fully loaded like to the gills but still, like, I wouldn't want to do this. Yeah. All right. So, looks like some people are coming, so we'll see what we have. All right. So, we do have this 2019 Expedition Limited. It's not, a, it's not an extended version. It is just a standard version. But they are using it for some reason to showcase uh, at, a, at a Lincoln dealership. Now, there are some people that just pulled in. So, I'm, they're not security. They're just people like me, minus the camera. So, anyway, so but it is unlocked. So let's look inside this 2019 Ford Expedition Limited, 44,000 miles. It doesn't say how much they want, but it also doesn't say that they're gonna treat it for COVID. So you see, got the running board. All right, let's check it out. You have leather seating. That's good. Step, very convenient. Oh. a sweet couple looking for a sweet ride all right well you can't blame them all right nice steering wheel is auto let's move that out of the way it's actually very cold and windy so i'm glad to be inside for a little bit all right so what do we have oh i like the wood whatever you know whatever it is it's probably plastic but it, it's got it very very worn steering wheel uh with like cracks and stuff i mean how do you get that it's a it's a two-year-old car it's a year and a half probably uh you know it looks like somebody had very greasy hands like it's almost like it's polished you know so anyway um you have some a lot of buttons here they stuffed adjustable pedals which is nice that it that it has that feature they stuffed it all the way there by the by the emergency parking brake at least very weird placement of buttons trunk you got the rear headrest i guess can fold down all right a lot of so, so lighting controls yeah it's so it's all like very very isolated in there uh yeah very shocking to see this type of wear i mean come on it's a luxury vehicle i mean shouldn't shouldn't it be more protected and i know you guys probably can't see some of it it's a black on black car which oh no i'm sorry it's like a dark blue on black car but the interior is all black so all right very interesting coin holder i'm not sure if it's you know still relevant today a very useless cubby like you can stick a finger in there but that's about all you can do probably a blank space holder for something uh, all right do you have accessory mode uh looks like more new cars are being offloaded but i think it's for a dealership there because i see a bunch of chevys and i went to the chevy store right there oh there you go went to a chevy store but none, there was nothing interesting there it does have accessory mode okay but i don't see anything on the screen oh there it is there's a screen no oh, nice it's not flickering in real life okay all right it's a lot more responsive than sinks of the past although you guys are probably getting a little seizure so let's not do that all right heated cold seats nice you have climate control here yeah it is definitely plastic wood but but it looks nice it has somewhat of a quality you see Got a nice couple over there that are staring at an $83,000 vehicle. I hope they have the money for it. Yeah, look, it's almost like the little thin piece of paper like came off. And it doesn't have all the, the, the functions. You got some blank switches here. All right, key lockable storage. Nice, very nice and deep. All right, now the question is, would I buy this? No, probably I wouldn't. This is too huge of a vehicle for me. And why is this so big? Wow. 
No, you do have some USBs here. Then you probably yep. Forty-four thousand miles. Yeah, I mean I love expeditions. Not gonna lie, they are nice. Oh look, the plastic is still on this little rear view mirror thing, so they probably didn't even know it had it. Yeah, I, I'm surprised no sunroof in a like a fully you know or close to fully loaded car. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's see what else we could find. I like these banging oaths and speaker grills. Nice. All right. Nope. So, all right. Let's let's look at some of their maybe some of their used stuff on the other side. Uh, yeah. I mean, the back you have plenty of room everywhere. No entertainment system though. No sunroof. That's weird. I know limited trim but it was probably an option that people didn't want to pay for because it's expensive all right let's look on the other side all right so here's all their used stuff um 2019 2018 this is their mkc's you know not a whole lot to get excited about because ultimately these cars are not for me here's something this is something i would consider it's an mks and it's an MKS EcoBoost, okay. Let's see, got a nice star right there. Let's see if we get lucky and it's unlocked. Nope. Damn it. Okay, well, I filmed a few MKSs and I think I actually filled one at this dealership. Uh, yeah, too bad it's locked. I would like to revisit it. But yeah, I would consider this one. I would. It's a 2011 MKS. So right as the right as the town cars were getting phased out this is what step to fill them to the void uh, i mean am i crazy over this car no do i think it's a it's a relatively good attempt to kind of see another visitor do i think it's a kind of a good enough attempt to uh to kind of try and modernize yeah i think so I and mean, i like some of the details here the satin with the chrome I, I do like all the modern touches and I like this stars. Yeah, I mean, I do like how they, you know, they gave you heated and cooled seats there. The nav kind of became more modern. I like it. I don't, not too thrilled about some of the styling, but you know, it is what it is. The whole double split wing, which, you know, they're using it up to the 2018. I mean, here's a 2018 MK. Uh, what is a C? I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, MKC. And they're still using it to 2018. All right, what else we got? Wow, a lot of these little crossover things. There's a Taurus right up here. I would consider Taurus, I guess, because I would consider an, an MKS. SHO, too. Wow, look at the wheels. Yeah, all of them are locked. I'm surprised at that um, Ford Expedition I filmed. Surprised that that one isn't or wasn't all right yeah very sinister look but you know what if i was between mks and the taurus i think i would actually pick the taurus i like the taurus not necessarily the the sho i'm not in particular a sporty type of guy but just the look i mean i i think it was almost as luxury like the limited edition whatever the the highest trim is without the sho as that mks and I think it actually looked better. Okay. Oh, here's a Continental 2018. See, considering that the, the mirrors are folded in, they're all locked. Oh, here you go again. COVID treatment. COVID treatment coming up. They want an extra $1,844 because they, they will cure COVID with your car. And they're going to charge you for it. Yeah, Continental I would I would consider. Yeah. So, there you go. That's... That's my shopping. That's how I shop. So if I was, you know, a me, which I am, <laughs> I would actually, I like the black colors, but the blue, this blue one is actually nice too. Mm. Yeah. So if I was me actually shopping for a car, uh, I would probably ask for a test drive, some of this Continental stuff and maybe the Taurus. Yeah. Okay, well, going further down this way, there does not appear to be anything of interest. So there's the COA, 
maybe COA 250 although nope yeah today I'm not having a lot of luck 2017 yeah a lot of this stuff is locked but anyway this is so this would be the car that I that I would pick so maybe in a few years if I can't find another good town car replacement I would actually come and I would this is what I would consider shopping and see more people are walking all right everybody we'll see you next time